Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. It's not nice out. It is only 46 degrees. Yesterday, what, it was like 44 when we left? But yesterday, it was gorgeous and sunny out. Today, it's overcast, and it's already sprinkling. It's supposed to be shit today. I'm going to sit inside today, most of the day, doing day job work. I don't know if I mentioned it or if I cut it out, but this week, I'm only going out for one overnight. So I'll go out Tuesday. I'll be back Wednesday. Thank Zeus, because those three days out really kill my schedule, and that's what gets me to the point of like, oh my God, I have so much to do. Story of my life. I'm either here driving around or I'm in front of my computer. <laughs> okay, let's go get some bagels. Bagels gotten. And as usual, I'm hungry. I heard a little jingle, and then I saw a little kitty cat. Hello, hello little kitties. Yes, how are you? Hmm? You belong on the other side of the street, pretty little cat. Bean has been gotten. And despite the fact that it's cold, rainy, and shitty out, yes, I got an ice drink because I like my matcha. Good morning, all. It's Monday morning, and I am, oops, forgetting why the hell I'm even leaving in the first place. Got the ZVE-10 that I sold to Yankee Cowboy. So I am on my way to deliver that at the UPS store, and then... Also, here is the infamous package that went to Italy, and I'm going to go back to the post office, bitch and complain that they charged me 70 bucks to send this box on a trip around the world and back. And then I also created an online account, did all of the like international paperwork and all that shit so that I could have it be legible so they couldn't say oh it, you know we couldn't read it or any bullshit like that and try to get this damn package to uh our friend in italy so let's go do that well i'm a product of my own overzealous efficiency once we got that package back and i saw how beat up the box was and i realized that we needed to pay to ship it again i cut a new box to fit with absolutely no clearance on what was inside of it whatsoever. And then I taped the ever-loving shit out of it so that there was not a single portion of the box exposed to the outside elements. And then I created a USPS account so that I could fill out forms going forward and it would be printed out in clear, legible computer typing. No handwritten bullshit, no, oh, we couldn't read it and all that kind of stuff. Put it all together, just went to the post office, and he said, I can't even look into giving you any money back without the other box. Like, I, I, I don't know that this is what you had sent. There's no indication on here, none of the paperwork or the markings that they would have put on it to tell me what happened, you know, so that I could give you a refund. I, I can't do it. Don't that beat all. That's my fault. That's on me. So I just paid another $73 to ship that freaking package to Italy. I'll tell you, they're quick to take your money, but it's damn near impossible to get it back. But for now, time to eat and finish with all the crap and book a hotel and all that mumbo jumbo and do what I got to do. Good morning, kids. It's Tuesday morning, about 8.23, running smidge behind but still going to be on time depends on how long it takes for me to get through this line at starbucks oh hey bean has been gotten it is a gorgeous day out despite the fact that it's cold i think it's supposed to go up to 50. not that it matters all that much when i'm in the in the vehicle like the temperature i don't really give a shit about just wanted to show you that i got bean and talk about the weather now let's hit the road oh okay kids it's four o'clock I had one meeting, I went to the second meeting, and that guy was gone for the day. It wasn't even three o'clock. The reason that I'm filming right now is an interesting thing that has happened to me today. I got a text telling me that I was close to going over on my data, on my phone service. I have several devices, all connected and sharing data. My phone, my wife's phone, every iPad we have, all that shit, the watches, they all share data. I've had this service pretty much since I moved to Virginia. So in all that time, I have never come close to going over on my data. So I got a text today telling me that I was like a gig, we'll just say a gig away from going over. My queen sends me a message just saying, hey, 
I just got this. And I was like, yeah, I got that too. Are you sure that all your devices are, you know, on Wi-Fi, not cellular data? Somehow, I've managed to go over my 24 gigabytes because when I got that message, like a few hours ago, I've since been, I've been charged $15 for going over. So right now, I have shut cellular off on my phone because now I've already gone over. I mean, I went over a gig in like less than an hour or two hours without even knowing what I was doing. I'm not using the phone. I'm not doing anything. All I've been doing is listening to a freaking audio book. So something on my phone now is accessing cellular data in the background that I don't know about. So it's freaking me out. So again, I shut cellular data off and I, and I messaged her because now I'm connected through my phone, my, like my uh, work phone to get any you know, thing that I have to get, text, emails, all that shit, because it's freaking me out since I don't know what's, what's causing it. <sighs> Life on the road, man. That's enough. I just wanted to tell you about the fact that I went over on my data. Good morning, all. I'm just about ready to leave the hotel and I have uh, my first meeting that I wasn't sure that I was even having because he called me yesterday to tell me that he had a doctor's appointment and didn't know if he was gonna be back in time. I was assuming he wasn't gonna be back in time and I was kind of stoked to go have a nice breakfast. Denied, ooh la la. Nothing I can do about that except be hungry. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get going here. Oh, it's only like 1.2 miles away. I'm gonna head on over to this meeting and we'll get on the road. Hey kids. So it is uh, 3.35. I have 32 minutes to the nearest Starbucks, which I desperately need. And then I think I have an hour after that before I get back to Virginia Beach. And I can't wait, because I want to be the hell out of this forerunner. I guess I'll get back on when I get some bean at the Starbucks. Okay, bean and sandwich gotten. Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it is... Uh, Thursday morning, about 11.15, I am heading out to run a bunch of errands. I need to go to the chiropractor, then I need to go to Verizon and find out why in the flying fuck I went over on data, because that's never happened the entire time I've owned the phone with this service. And not only did I go over once and they charged me for an extra gig, but then it charged me for a second extra gig telling me that I went over again, even though yesterday was supposed to be the restart of the cycle. So the monkey needs explanations. So let's go do all that. All right, kids, it is 3.01 and it's bean time, which is also another way for me to describe procrastination time. I am not totally procrastinating. I did my expense report for the week. Day after I got home, that doesn't happen very often, but Let's finish up with the whole Verizon data saga. Still don't really know how I managed to go over. I can speculate that because I was on the road so much this month, unlike in the past, I spent a lot of time scrolling on my phone and listening to music whilst I was driving. And I don't know, maybe I didn't download the albums and, and whatever, but I can understand it because I was on the road every week sometimes three days, sometimes two. So that's a lot of time away from Wi-Fi with me just sitting in my office. So, okay, what's done is done. I, I got charged 30 bucks for going over. After I left the store and I went back home, I ended up trying to call them and that didn't work because they kept giving me links to click on. And every time I clicked on a link, it sent me to my fricking homepage for my Verizon account. So. I finally was like, I want to speak to a human fucking being. And they gave me a link and said, you have to chat with somebody. I started getting really pissed off because I just want to speak to a human being. And these companies clearly don't give a shit that they make things a thousand times worse. Because by the time you actually get to speak to a human being, you're fucking livid. You want to kill people. You know, like it, it just makes it so much worse. So by the time I'm actually speaking to somebody, I'm a dick because I'm pissed off that I just wasted 20 minutes going back and forth, screaming into the phone, human fucking being. I was pretty pissy on the chat when I finally got to a point where I could be like, I want to speak to a human being. And then they transferred me to somebody and she was wonderful. And she broke up my, my, my little sphincter tight douchebaggery and I was fine. 
I'll make this quick. It was cheaper for me to get unlimited and add all my lines to that. I don't, I was like, that doesn't make any sense to me. How am I upgrading my plan and paying less? And she said, because you're adding so many devices, the more devices that you add to it, the lower the bill gets. And I was like, okay, I'll buy into that. So she told me what my bill was gonna be. And you know, like I said, everybody in the store was trying to get me to upgrade to unlimited, but that, that needs to be explained to me. She explained it. She also said, if you go to paperless and you go to uh, auto pay, it brings it down even more. I do not like auto pay. My life is too volatile. And, and for that shit to just automatically come out, I don't like that. I like being able to pay my bill when I need to pay it. Knowing that I need to, you know, wait a couple of days or, or whatever. It's not like I've got a ton of money in my account. And with all the money that I've got going out and this, that, and the other thing, I just would rather not deal with that. So I'll pay a little bit extra to not have that happen. We're good to go now, theoretically. If we're not, I'm gonna raise royal hell. Now I'm heading out for bean. Bean has been gotten and it's tasty as always. Let's go do a special delivery, then head out for more errands and more procrastination. Ziggy, turn off the living room lights. Okay. Usually she doesn't do it right away. Aren't we adorable? We're going to Black Rifle Coffee Company because we've never been. And we want coffee. And then we're going to a bookstore. So let's go do that. Good morning, all. And it is Saturday morning, 8.34. Running a smidge late. I have to get to my appointment in 10 minutes for my peepers. And I will say that after these two weeks, these things are great. They're very comfortable most of the time, as much as I can ask for, you know, putting a piece of plastic on my eyeballs. But for now, let's get to this appointment. That was simple enough. Uh, I read the 2020 line, and although I'm kind of like dry this morning, so probably should have put some drops in right away. But anyways, read the 2020 line. She checked them under her little microscopy thing and said they look great. I said they felt great. They worked great. Great. So she gave me the final prescription. Now I got to order them. Now I'm going to go to Pearl Vision and order my contacts. Holy shit, kids. Healthcare in this country is out of control, even with the insurance. And she told me point blank, the best bang for your buck is to get the glasses because they cover glasses better than they do contacts. I only got $200 off on the contacts. With that $200, I still paid basically $1,000 for a year's supply of these contacts. Getting old sucks, but you got to do what you got to do. So uh, I guess this is why I work my ass off to make the monies to pay for all the health shit that's going wrong with me. <laughs> eh, okay, I got to stop now before I go down that rabbit hole bitching and complaining. Uh, next step, Monday, I have to go back to the dentist to get my broken filling replaced. And that's another $140. Ugh, these people think I'm made of money. Fucking having to work for a living sucks, right? All right, let's go spend more money at Michael's. Here comes the ranty part of, of the end of this week's postings. Why is it these camera manufacturers spend so much money on dumb shit, and then every one of them has absolute god-awful shit software? So the app that's used to control or to take pictures or to download pictures onto your device are all just complete and utter shit. I just spent like at least a half an hour sitting there trying to get my stupid iPhone to connect to this A7R4 so that I could take a picture off and post it. Never connected. I was never able to export a picture, you know, from the camera to the phone. I couldn't use the phone to suck it from the camera. It, nothing ever happened. Want to see the monkey get the hammer and smash shit? That's the way to do it. Give me shit software that doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So freaking aggravating. So yeah, that's how I just spent the last half an hour sitting there underneath a tree, you know, instead of enjoying nature, getting pissed off because of the shit app. So the rant, the gist of this rant, and then I'll shut up and, and end the video for the week, is come on, companies, do better. I'm not asking for, for this grand quantum computing ability to control everybody in the world with your shitty apps, but I would like it to actually sync to my cameras 
I would like it to be able to control my cameras, take pictures with it, change the settings, and, you know, download the photos to whichever device I'm using. You know, I mean, if you get around to it, that'd be nice. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.